gonna inhale it. I don't care.
ਸੱਚੇ ਏ to the one holy universe and the apostolic church of god amen remember o oh lord those who have brought to you this gifts and those on whose behalf they have been brought and those by whom they have been brought give them all the heavenly reward Oh, I say. 
Blessed be the Lord God forever. Amen. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Praise Him, all you peoples. For His mercies confirm the poor us. And the truth of the Lord endures forever. Amen. Alleluia. Upon us. 
hear us help us and accept the supplications and prayers of his saints for that which is good on our behalf at all times and make us worthy to partake of the communion of his holy and blessed mysteries for the remission of our sins. and entreat your goodness, O lover of mankind, that you grant us conclude this blessed day, all the days of life in peace, and in your field, and be all temptation, all work of Satan, all the intrigues of the wicked, and the rising of the enemies, hidden and manifest, cast them away from us, and from all your people, and from this table, and from this church, from this holy place, which is yours. But those things which are good and profitable do provide for us. It is you who has given us authority to trample under foot serpents and scorpions all the power of the enemy. the deacons, the clergy, the priests, the deacons, the clergy, all the people in my weakness, be absolved from the mouth of the all-holy trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and from the mouth of the one only holy Catholic and apostolic church, and from the mouths of the twelve apostles, and from the mouth of the beholder of God, the evangelist Mark, the holy apostle and martyr, the patriarch Saint Severus, our teacher Dioscorus, Saint Athanasius the apostolic, Saint Peter the holy martyr and high priest, St. John Chrysostom, St. Cyril, St. Basil, and St. Gregory, and from the mouths of the 318 assembled at Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus, and from the mouth of our honored father, the high priest, Pope Abatoadrus II, and from the mouth of his partner in the apostolic liturgy, our father, the bishop, and Daniel, and from my own mouth, being the least, for blessed and full of glory is your holy name, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and at all times and unto the age of all ages. Amen. <laughs>
chosen to preach the gospel of God. From St. Paul's first epistle to the Corinthians, may his blessings be with us all. Amen. But each one in his own order, Christ the first fruits, 
Afterward, those who are Christ's at his coming. Then comes the end, when he delivers the kingdom to God the Father, when he puts an end to all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that will be destroyed is death. For he has put all things under his feet. But when he says all things are put under him, it is evident that he who puts all things under him is accepted. Now when all things are made subject to him, then the Son himself will also be subject to him who put all things under him, that God may be all in all. Otherwise, what will they do who are baptized for the dead, if the dead do not rise at all? Why then are they baptized for the dead? And why do we stand in jeopardy at every hour? I affirm by the boasting in you which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord, I die daily. If in the manner of men I have fought with beasts at Ephesus, what advantage is it to me if the dead do not rise? If the dead do not rise, let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Do not be deceived. Evil company corrupts good habits. Awake to righteousness and do not sin, for some do not have the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. But someone will say, How are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? Foolish one, what you sow is not made alive unless it dies. And what you sow, you do not sow that body that shall be, but mere grain, perhaps wheat or some other grain. But God gives it a body as he pleases, and to each seed its own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fish, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and terrestrial bodies, but the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For one star differs from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. The body is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, The first man Adam became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. However, the spiritual is not first, but the natural and afterward the spiritual. The first man was of the earth, made of dust. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As was the man of dust, so also are those who are made of dust. And as is the heavenly man, so also are those who are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly man. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does corruption inherit incorruption. The grace and peace of the Lord be with us all. Amen. The Catholicon, a lesson, my beloved brethren, selected from the first epistle of our father Peter. May his blessings be with us all. Amen. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you, with meekness and fear, having good conscience that when they defame you as evildoers, those who revile your good conduct in Christ may be ashamed. For it is better, if it is the will of God, to suffer for doing good than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered once, for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring to God, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive by the Spirit, by whom also he went and preached to the spirits in prison, who formerly were disobedient, when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah while the ark was being prepared, 
in which a few, that is eight souls, were saved through water. There is also an antitype which now saves us, namely baptism, not the removal of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience towards God, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers, having been made subject to him. Therefore, since Christ suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves also with the same mind. For he who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, that he, should no, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh for the lusts of men, but for the will of God. For we have spent enough of our past lifetime in doing the will of the Gentiles, when we walked in licentiousness, lusts, drunkenness, revelries, drinking parties, and abominable idolatries. In regard to these, they think it strange that you do not run with them in the same flood of dissipation, speaking evil of you. They will give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. For this reason, the gospel was preached also to those who are dead, that they might be judged according to men in the flesh, but live according to God in the spirit. Do not love the world nor anything in it, for the world and its lustful desires will pass away, but those who perform the will of God abide forever. of our fathers, the apostles, may their holy blessings be with us all. Amen. Men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested by God to you by miracles, wonders, and signs, which God did through him in your midst, as you yourselves know, also know, him being delivered by the de determined counsel and foreknowledge of God, you have taken by lawless hands, have crucified and put to death, whom God raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be held by it. For David says concerning him, I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is at my right hand, that I might not be shaken. Therefore my heart rejoiced, and my tongue was glad. Moreover, my flesh will also rest in hope, because you will not leave my soul in Hades, nor, you will, nor will you all allow your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the ways of life, you will make me full of joy in your presence. Men and brethren, let me speak freely to you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried, and his tomb is with us to this day. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him, that of the fruit of his body, according to the flesh, he would raise up the Christ to sit on his throne. 
he foreseeing this spoke concerning the resurrection of the Christ, that his soul was not left in Hades, nor did his flesh see corruption. This Jesus God had raised up, of which we are all witnesses. Therefore, being exalted to the right hand of God, and having received from the Father the promise of the Holy Spirit, he poured out this which you now see and hear. For David did not ascend into the heavens, but he says himself, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. May the word of the Lord grow and spread, be mighty and firmly held in the holy church of God. Amen.
Truly You 
Stand up in the fear of God and listen to the Holy Gospel. A chapter from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, the evangelist, apostle, and pure disciple. May his blessings be with us all. Oh, 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 amen. Open, show, so open, not you open, so tear open, or open in. Jesus be Christos e pshiri me khnutit On khepi o nafshani pi o fa Apen no tsipe Uksal si kereya Asam O va teacher David the prophet and king May his blessings be with us all. Amen. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I pray, O Lord. O Lord, I pray. Send now prosperity. God is the Lord, and He has given us light. Alleluia. Savior and King of us all, 
Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, glory be to you. came to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. Then she ran and came to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and said to them, they have taken away the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Peter therefore went out and the other disciple and were going to the tomb. So they both ran together, and the other disciple outran Peter and came to the tomb first. And he stooping down and looking in, saw the linen cloths lying there, yet he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb, and he saw the linen cloths lying there. And the handkerchief that had been around his head, not lying with the linen cloths, but folded together in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who came to the tomb first went in also, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not know the scripture, that he must rise again from the dead. Then the disciples went away again to their own homes, but Mary stood outside by the tomb weeping. And as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting, one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. Then they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord and I do not know where they have laid him. Now when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, and did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him, Rabboni, which is to say, Teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things to
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Happy Easter, everyone, and Christos Anesti. Um, On behalf of all our fathers and all the servants of every kind, uh, on behalf of Abuna Botros and Abuna Gabriel, Abuna Pshoy and Abuna Khan, I'd like to wish all of you a really, really blessed Resurrection Feast. This is the time when we remember and celebrate the great miracle of the victory of life over death, of goodness over evil, and of kindness over cruelty. I hope that we can all, as we celebrate this feast, let that miracle also happen in our own hearts, in our relationships with one another, those closest to us that we sometimes forget to be kind to, and also to strangers. There's a lovely old tradition that on Easter, um, people would share their food or their belongings with the poor. If you haven't, over the past 12 months, been in the habit of giving to those who are less well off than you are, this is a really good time to think about building up that habit. We usually have the two Easter messages from His Holiness the Pope and His Grace our Bishop. Unfortunately, we've had a little bit of a technical glitch, mostly my fault actually, and we'll only be able to show you His Holiness uh, video message this year. But uh, the, there, will, there is a link um, which we'll put up again at the end of the liturgy as well, so that you can also watch His Grace Bishop, Bishop Daniel's message. Um, everybody, it's very easy nowadays. I think you just come and take a picture of it, and then you just, you know what to do better than me. You know how to make it work. So um, we'll be blessed now with His Holiness's Easter message for us. هذا الصديق 
التي سمر عليها السيد المسيح كان إعلانا وكما يقول في سفر أناشيد الأناشيد يقول حبيبي أبيض وأحمر معلم بين ربا معلم يعني علم وأبيض وأحمر رمز للنقاء ورمز لجنب الكتاب وحبيبي معلم بين ربا هو علم ربا على الكبير عشر آلاف وفي المقصود به كمان المكان المقدس فلما بيقول معلم بين ربا هكذا كان الصليب علم الكفع كما صلب السيد المسيح على الصليب في مكان الجلوس يوم الصليب هو يوم الايمان وقاعدة الصليب هي ايماننا وجانا العطر القدس كده يكون مع المسيح قدس فاحيا لا انا بل المسيح يحيا يوم الجمعة هو الذي وضع اساسنا المسيح ثانيا ومخلصا لكل الكون وعندما تقف امام الصليب تتذكر معي قائل المئة عندما ظهر المسيح في جنب الحربة فخرج الدم والماء وقال هذه المقولة الكبيرة حقا كان هذا ابن الله وكان اعتراف قائل المئة اعترافا الى العالم الوثني لانه كان رومانيا في العالم الوثني بما صنعه المسيح من اجل كل الكون ايمانا هو اساسه الصليب الذي صلب عليه السيد المسيح وحول الصليب من العار والجرح وكان رمزا للموت واداه ايضا للموت حوله السيد المسيح الى اداه مجد وفرحان مكتسب هذا هو يوم جمعة الصالون يوم الإيمان ثم يوم السبت وهو سبت الفرح نسميه ونسميه أيضا سبت الانتظار أو سبت الرجاء وهو التعبير الذي استخدمه القديس بولس الرسول أنه يوم للرجاء كان المسيح الذي سلب ومات على الصليب ودفن في الحرب وكان التلاميذ وكان المسلمين على الرجاء ينتظرون هذه القيامه كما عبر عليه السيد المسيح في احاديثه الاخيره مع كان يوم الرجاء كان مشؤوما بالامل ولكن في نفس الوقت كان مشؤوما بالخوف والقلق والصبر وكان بالايمان نوع من الرعب دبة في نفوس التلاميذ ودبة في نفوس المحبين وتقريبا في الحرب في هذا الوقت فكان سبت الرجاء وهو اليوم الذي نسهر فيه ونقرا سفر الرؤيا في ليل الاب والانجيل ونقرا الانتظار للخروج من الظلمة الى النهار ومن العالم الى الابد كان هذا يوم ثم جاء فجر الاحد وفجر الاحد هو يوم القيامه ويوم القيامه هو يوم الاحد وقال مع ما قاله القديس بولس الرسول الايمان والرجاء والمحبه ولكن اعظمهما المحبه فكانت قيامه السيد المسيح حبا ومحبه في كل احد وهو القديس بولس الرسول الذي وقف كل قوة ويقول أعرفه وقوة قيامته وشركة آلامه متشبهة بالروح. هذا الاعتبار الشخصي للقيامة أنها كانت حبا في كل إنسان. الله لم يترك النفوس تعيش القلق أو الحب أو الألم. لم يترك النفوس بهذه الصورة ولكن الله اختار ان يكون فجر الاحد هو اليوم الذي صنعه لكي لا يملا الانسان حبا وضعفا. الانسان
الإنسان اللي قلبه بيتملأ بالمحبة بالمحبة الإلهية هو الإنسان الذي يستطيع أن يعيش سالحا كالفرح بني جنعين لما قلب الإنسان يمتلك أكثر ويشعر أن حياة المسيح التي على الصليب امتدت إلى قلبه وامتدت إليه وابتدت فترات الدم التي سالت على الصليب كانت فترات حب من أجل كل أحد ومن أجل خطية الإنسان ومن أجل أفعال الإنسان وجاء الله لكي ما يقوم اثنين الأموات في فجر يوم الأحد وصار أكبر تعبير يقدمه المسيح لنا هو تعبير القيامة على أنه يمتد الدين للبعض نحن في كل يوم نصلي في صلاة ذاتها في بداية كل يوم وهو تذكار للقيامة المسيح وفي كل أسبوع نصلي يوم الأحد وهو تذكار أيضا لقيامة المسيح فجر يوم الأحد فصار يوم الأحد هو العيد الأسبوع يمكن أن نسميه عيد المحبة الإلهية التي كتبها الله في كتبه يقولون كده في رسالة روميا محبة الله انسكبت في قلوبنا بالروح القدس في قلوبنا جميعا كمان عمل الله في القيامة يصل إلى كل شهر نحتاج اثنين تسعة وستة شهر تمشي بتذكارات القيامة وتذكارات الميلاد والفطار ثم في كل عام نحتاج تاريخ القيامة ويرتد احتفالنا به لمدة خمسين يوم أو سبعة أسابيع ثم يبدأ الأسبوع الثاني الذي هو تعبير عن الأبدية والحياة السماوية أنا وأنا أكون أيها الأحباء وأرجو أن يكون هذا العيد طيبا مباركا وعيدا مفتاحا عيدا نشعر فيه بالإيمان والرجاء والمحبة ولكن أعظم عيدا بالحق محبة المسيح التي كتبها من أجل كل إنسان أرجو أن تكون جميعا بخير وأرجو أن تحكي في كل أمور أو في كل إضافية في كل خير May God fill all our hearts with his faith, hope and love. And happy Easter everyone. Glory to God forevermore. Amen.
God, let us attend, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy on truth. We believe in one God, God the Father, the Pantocrator, who created heaven and earth and all things seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God and Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten of created, co essential with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnated of the Holy Spirit of the Virgin Mary became man, and he was crucified for us and the Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose from there according to the scriptures, ascended into the heavens, he sits at the right hand of his Father, and he is coming again in his glory to judge the living and the dead, his kingdom shall have no end. Yes, we believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the life giver, who proceeds from the Father, with the Father and Son is worshipped and glorified. We spoke by the prophets and in one holy Catholic Apostolic Church, we confess on baptism for remission of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the coming Essential, co enthroned, co creator with the Father, who for the sake of goodness alone brought man into existence out of nothing and placed him in the paradise of joy. And when he fell through the deception of the enemy, and the disobedience of your holy commandment, you will to renew him and restore him to his first estate. Neither an angel nor an archangel nor a patriarch, nor a prophet did you entrust with our salvation. But you without change was incarnate and became man and resembled us in everything except for sin alone. And you became for us a mediator with the Father. And the middle wall you have broken down. And the old enmity you have abolished. You reconciled the earthly with the heavenly and made the two into one, and fulfilled the economy in the flesh. And at your ascension into the heavens in the body, having filled all with your divinity, you said to your holy disciples and apostles, my peace I give to you. My peace I leave with you. This same also now grant to us, O our Master and cleanse us from all blemish, all guile, all hypocrisy, all vice, all craftiness, 
and the remembrance of thy sparing For perfect peace, love, and all the apostolic kisses. Lord, have mercy and make us all worthy of our master to greet one another with a holy kiss, that without falling into condemnation, we may partake of your immortal and heavenly gift. Through your grace and the goodwill of your good Father, and the work of your Holy Spirit, for you are the provider and the giver of all goodness. Greet one another with a holy kiss. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Yes, Lord, you are Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Hear us and have mercy upon us. Let us stand well, let us stand reverently, let us stand earnestly, let us stand in peace, let us stand in the fear of God, trembling and stunned, offer, offer, and stand with the trembling, look towards the east, let us attend. of the only begotten Son, our Lord God and Saviour, Jesus Christ, and the communion and the gift of the Holy Spirit be with you all. fitting indeed and right that we praise you, bless you, serve you, worship you and glorify you, O the one only true God, the lover of mankind, ineffable, invisible, infinite, without beginning, everlasting, Timeless, immeasurable, incomprehensible, unchangeable, creator of all, saviour of everyone. 
who forgives our sins, who saves our life from corruption, who crowns us with mercy and compassion. You are he whom the angels praise and the archangels worship. You are he whom the principalities bless and to whom the dominions cry. You are he whose glory the authorities declare. You are he unto whom the thrones send up honour. Thousands of thousands stand before you, and ten thousand times ten thousand offer you service. You are he whom the invisible bless, and the visible worship, and they all, all do your word, O oh, our Master. Seated star, O you, the being of the seraphim, receive from us also our voices together with the invisible, count us with the heavenly hosts. Let us also say with them, having cast away from us all the thoughts of evil imagination, and proclaim that which they send up with voices unceasing, and lips unfailing, and they pray as your goodness. Towards the east. You are he around whom stand the cherubim and the seraphim, six wings to the one and six wings to the other. With two they cover their faces, and with two they cover their feet, and with two they fly, and one cries out to the other. They send up the hymn of victory and salvation, which is ours, with a voice full of glory. They praise, they sing, they proclaim, they cry out, saying, Let us
Holy, holy, O Lord, and holy are you in everything, and most excellent in the light of your essence. Infinite the power of your wisdom and no manner of speech can matter the depth of your love toward mankind. You are the lover of mankind, have created me as man. You had no need of my servitude, but rather I had need of your lordship. Because of the multitude of your tender mercies, you have brought me into existence when I was not. You placed heaven at the roof for me and established us for me to walk upon. For my sake you have found the sea, for my sake you have manifested the nature of animals, you have subjected all things under my feet, you have not left me in need of any of the workers of your honor, you are he who formed me and laid your hand upon me, and inscribed in me the image of your authority, you placed in me the gift of speech and opened for me paradise to joy. And you've given to me the learning of your knowledge. You have manif manifested to me the tree of life and made known to me the sting of death. Of one plant have you forbidden me to eat? that of which you have said to me of it only do not eat but according to my will i did eat i put your law behind me by my own counsel and became slothful toward your commandments i plucked for myself the sentence of the Punishment into salvation. <clears throat> the good shepherd, you sought after that which had gone astray. Uh, the true father, you've travelled with me, I who had fallen. You've bound me with all the remedies that lead to life. You are he who has sent to me. The prophets for my sake are the sick. You've given me the law as a help. You are he who has missed on salvation to me. When I disobeyed you, your law, as true light, you've shone upon the lost. And the ignorance.
you that being throughout all time have come to earth on earth. You have come into the womb of the virgin. You, the infinite being God, did not consider equality with God the thing to be grasped, but emptied yourself and took the form of a servant and placed my nature in yourself and fulfilled your law on my behalf. You've shown me the rising up from my fall. You've given release to those who were bound in Hades. You've lived the curse of the law. You've abolished that sin in the flesh. You've shown me the power of your authority. You've given me, you've given sight to the blind. You've raised the dead from the tombs. You've established nature to the world. You've manifested to me the economy of your tender mercy. You've borne the oppression, the oppression of the wicked. You've given your back to the scourge. Your cheeks you have left open to those who smite. For my sake, O oh my master, you've not hidden your face from the shame of his pity. Slaughter the sheep even to the cross. You've manifested the greatness of your care for me. You've slain my sin in your tomb. You've brought my first fruit up to heaven. You've shown me the manifestation of your coming. Wherein you shall come to judge, to judge the living and the dead, and give each one according to his deed. to your mercy alone and not according to our sin I offer you 
and gave it also to your unsainly honorable disciples and holy apostles, saying, Drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many to be given for the remission of sins to this in the remembrance of, of me. This is also true. of this bread and you drink of this cup you proclaim my death confess my resurrection remember me till I, I come Amen 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 your death alone we pray commemorate your coming to this earth, your life-giving death, your burial for three days, your resurrection from the dead, your ascension into the heavens, your sitting at the right hand of your Father, and your second coming from the heavens, awesome and full of glory. We offer unto you your gifts from what are yours for everything, concerning everything and in everything. <laughs> Master, by your voice alone change these which are set forth. You who are with us, prepare for us this service full of mystery. Implant in us the remembrance of your holy service. Send to us the grace of the Holy Spirit to purify and change these gifts set forth into the body and the blood of our salvation. And this bread he makes into your holy body. I believe. Amen. And this cup also into the precious blood of your new covenant. God and Savior Jesus Christ, giving for the remission of sins and eternal life to those who partake of Him. Lord, have mercy. 
mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Need we ask you, O Christ our God, confirm the foundation of the church. Lord, have mercy. The oneness of heart that is of love, may it take root in us. Kyrie eleison. May the righteousness of faith grow, straighten for us the way of godliness. Lord, have mercy. Control the shepherds and those whom they shepherd confirm. Kyrie Eleison. Give splendor to the clergy, ascetism to the monks. Lord, have mercy. Purity to those in virginity, a life of goodness to those in wedlock. Kyrie Eleison. Mercy to those in repentance, goodness to the rich. Lord, have mercy. Meekness to the honourable, help to the poor. Kyrie eleison. Strengthen the elders, chasten the young. Lord, have mercy. Success to the students, work for the unemployed. Kyrie eleison. Restore the unbelievers, may the schisms of the church cease. Lord, have mercy. Strip the vanity of the heretics and count us all. In the unity of godliness. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Remember, O oh Lord, the peace of your one only holy Catholic and apostolic church. For the peace of the one holy Catholic and apostolic Church of God. Lord, have mercy. This which exists from one end of the world to the other, and those who rightly handle the word of truth in her. Most of all, our patriarch, the honored father, Pope Abbatawadras and his partner in the apostolic liturgy, our father, the bishop, Amber Daniel. Pray for our high priest, Pope, Abba Thawadros, Pope and Patriarchs, and the Archbishop of this great city of Alexandria, and his brethren in the apostolic the Patriarch, Patriarch of Antioch, Maria Gnostos, and the Patriarch of Eritrea, and his partner in apostolic liturgy, our father, the bishop, Abba Daniel, and for our orthodox bishop. Lord, have mercy. For those who are in this place and those who have fallen asleep, the bishops, hegumens, priests, deacons, and subdeacons. Pray for the hegumens, priests, deacons, subdeacons, and the seven orders of the church of God. Lord, have mercy. The readers, the chanters, the exorcists, the monks, the virgins, the widows, the orphans, the ascetics, the laity, and all the fullness of your holy church, O God of the faithful. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O Lord, those 
those who have reigned in godliness and those who are now leaders. Pray for our Christ loving leaders. Lord have mercy. Remember, O oh Lord, our brethren orthodox believers who are in the government and all who are in the military. Pray for the faithful and orthodox brethren in the palace government and for all the troops. who have brought unto you these gifts, those on whose behalf they have been brought, and those by whom they have been brought. Give them all the heavenly reward. Pray for these holy and precious gifts, our sacrifices, and those who bring the Lord have mercy. who dwell in the mountains and the caves and our <coughs> brethren who are in captivity. Pray for, for the captive. Lord have mercy. Grant them a peaceful return unto <coughs> their own. Now before God in fear. Lord. 
Lord, have mercy. of heart, grant security to the world, and good temper to the air, graciously accord, O Lord, the air of heaven, the fruits of the earth, the waters of the rivers, the seeds, the herbs, and the plants of the field this year, bless them. Pray for the air of the heaven, the fruits of the earth. The trees, the vines of our every fruit bearing tree in the world, the Christ our God may bless them, bring them to perfection in peace without harm, and forgive us our sins. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Raise them to their measure according to your grace, give joy to the face of the earth. May its furrows be abundantly watered and its fruits be plentiful. Prepare it for sowing and harvesting, manage our life as deemed fit. Bless the crown of the year with your goodness. For the sake of the poor of your people, the widow, the orphan, the traveller, the stranger, and for the sake of us all, who entreat you and seek your holy name. For the eyes of everyone wait upon you, for you give them their food in due season. Deal with us according to your goodness. O oh, you who gives food to all flesh, fill our hearts with joy and gladness, that we too, having sufficiency in everything always, may abound in every good deed. Lord, have mercy. Kneeling to the sick, rest to the needy. to those in captivity, acceptance to the orphans, help to the widows, satisfy the distressed with good things, Lord have mercy, raise the fallen, confirm the upright, Those who have fallen asleep, accept to yourself the prayers of the confessors. Lord, have mercy. The sinners who have repented, count them among your faithful. Your faithful count them among your martyrs. Those who are in this place, conform them to your angels, 
and we also who have been called by your grace into your service, unworthy though we are, Accept us unto yourself. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Remember, O oh Lord, this your holy place and every place and every monastery of our Orthodox Fathers. Salvation of the world and of this city of ours, and all cities, districts, islands, and more, on our streets. Lord, have mercy. And every city and every region, and the villages, and all their adornments, and save us all from famine, plagues, earthquakes, Drowning fire, the captivity of the barbarians, the sword of the stranger, and the rising up of heretics. Lord, have mercy. Gracious the accord, O Lord, to remember all the saints who have pleased you since the beginning. Our holy fathers, the patriarchs, the prophets, the apostles, the prashid, the evangelists, the martyrs, the confessors, and all the spirits of the righteous perfected in the faith. Most of all the pure fall of glory, ever virgin. Holy Theotokos and Mary, who truly gave birth to God the Logos, and Saint John the Father Baptist and Matthias, and Stephen the Archdeacon and Promoter, the Beholder of God the Evangelist, Mark the Holy Apostle, and Martyr, the Patriarch, Saint Severus, our teacher, this chorus, then Athanasius. The Apostle St. Peter, the Holy Mother, and High Priest, St. John Chrysostom, St. Theodosius, St. Theophilus, St. Demetrius, St. Cyril, St. Basil, St. Gregory the Theologian, St. Gregory the Wonder Worker, St. Gregory the Armenian, the 318 assembled at Nicaea, the 150 at Constantinople, and the 200 at Ephesus, our righteous Father, the great Abba Anthony, the righteous Abba Paul, the three saints of Amakari, and all the rich children, the cross bearers. Our Father Abba John the Higman, our righteous Father Abba Pishoy, the perfect man, the beloved of our good Savior, and all the choir of your saints. Through us prayers and supplications have mercy on us all, and save us for the sake of your holy name, which is called upon us. Recite the names of our Holy Fathers, the patriarchs who have fallen asleep, and would repose their souls, and forgive us our sins. May their holy Blessings be with us. Amen. Glory to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
those souls who have taken to pull them in the paradise of joy, in the region of the living forever in the heavenly Jerusalem, in the place. And we to our sojourners in this place, keep us in your faith and grant us your peace unto the to your kingdom that add in the souls and all things your great and holy name may be glorified blessed and exalted in everything honored and blessed with Jesus Christ your beloved son and the Holy Spirit. Savior, the good and lover of mankind, the life giver to our souls, O God, who gave himself up for us, salvation from our sins, who through the multitude of his mercies who loosen the enmity of mankind. O oh, the only begotten God who is in his Father's bosom, O oh, Lord, lay
at that time now also break Only disciples and sail up also at that time. Now also give us and all your people, O oh my Mao, our master, the Pantocrator, the Lord, our God. We worship. the Lord God the Almighty, the Father of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, who through his cross descended into Hades, restored Adam and his children to paradise. He buried us with him, and through his death he abolished the power of death, and on the third day rose from the dead. to Mary Magdalene and spoke with her in this manner, Tell my brethren that they go to Galilee, and there they shall see me. The archangel descended from heaven, rolled the stone from the door of the tomb, proclaimed the good news to the women carrying the spices. Saying, Je Christus anesti, ek necron. Alitos anesti, ek necron. Christ is risen from the dead. He trampled upon death and has bestowed life upon those who are in the tomb. He breathes in the face of the saintly disciples and the pure apostles, saying, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sin you remit, they are remitted to them. Those which you retain, they shall be retained.
Therefore, uh, we ask you, our Master, purify us from all hypocrisy, that with a pure heart we dare with boldness and without fear to entreat you, you O good fa- to entreat you, O God, the good Father who are in the heavens, and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread. bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. سلامك كنيسة كان قاص المسكون لقاصي أذكر بطرق نبض معظم لما توعد ستان شريك وخدم الرأس اللي يبين أذكر مكرم مدنيين أذكر بقى هذه البيعة أبو نانتوني صبو نبض رصب نفشة أبو نكراس كل قدام الكادمات كل كليس كل الشعب يا رب شمامس Remember all of those who are bound by the bonds of darkness set them free by the glory of blessed resurrection Remember those who offered prayers on the holy altar those who are sick heal them those who are in tribulation trials be with them those who are in wedlock be with them and fill their lives with your peace and joy. Jesus. Remember, O Lord, our assemblies, bless them. Save the men and with your spirit and the fear of God, let us attend. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Holy is our for the holy, blessed be Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the sanctification is by the Holy Spirit. Amen. One is all holy Father, one is all holy Son, one is all holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The holy body and the precious and true blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of our God. Amen. Amen. The holy and the precious bloody and the true blood of Jesus Christ, Son of our God. Amen. 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 I believe, I believe, I believe and confess to the last breath. This is the life-giving flesh that your only begotten Son 
our Lord, our God, our Savior, the King of us all, Jesus Christ. He took from our Lady, the Lady of us all, the Holy Virgin, the Theotokos, Saint Mary. He made it one with His divinity, without mingling, without confusion, without alteration. He witnessed the good confession before Pontius Pilate. He gave it up for us upon the holy wood of the cross of his own will for us all. Truly I believe that his divinity did not depart from his humanity a single moment nor a twinkle of an eye given for us for salvation, remission of sins, eternal life. Eternal life to those who partake of him. I believe, I believe, I believe that this is so in truth. I mean. I believe, I believe that this is so in truth, so true. I mean. Jesus Christ be with you. Let us sing and live. Pray for the worthy partaking of the holy and immaculate. <laughs> Sin, my fathers and my brethren, forgive me. When you come forward to Holy Communion, it should be living the life of repentance. And this is a very, very important opportunity where we celebrate His resurrection. We also enjoy the power of the victory of Him over, over sin and death. So come with a repentant heart. I have sins forgiven. Lord, I am not worthy to have you come under my roof because I am a sinner. But only say the words, your sins are forgiven and my soul will be healed. I am barren and empty of any goodness. I have nothing but your compassion, mercy and love to mankind. You descended from heavenly glory to our humility and consented to be born in a manger. O Holy Saviour, do not reject my humble and miserable soul, which is waiting for your glorified coming. As you do not refuse to enter the leper's house to heal him, please, Lord, come into my soul to cleanse it. As you do not stop the adulteress from kissing your feet, Please do not prevent me from coming near you to receive your holy body and sacred blood. May this holy communion banish every corruption, mortify all my evil desires, help me to obey your commandments, and heal my soul and my body from every sin. May your spirit dwell within me and make me united with you, so that I live for the glory of your name. Amen.
concentration and sing with all the 
Christ is is risen he is truly risen how beautiful our feast the glorious Easter how beautiful our feast the glorious Easter and every Sunday a feast Very early Sunday morning, while the gods were still asleep, our Lord arose declaring, His promise He did keep. Our Lord arose declaring, His promise He did keep. You alone have conquered death, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you reveal power and glory, our Lord of righteousness, you reveal power and glory, our Lord of righteousness, Jesus is risen in glory, heaven and earth sang and praise, and the angels told the story. is filled with gladness and tongue with joy for partaking from your immortal mysteries, O Lord, that which our eye has not seen or ear has heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which your God have prepared for them that love your holy name. And reveal unto the small children of your holy church, yes, this is our Father, the pleasure before you. For you are merciful, we send up to you the glory, the honor of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Your servants, O Lord, who are serving and treating your holy name and bowing down your heads before you. Dwell in them, O Lord, and walk amongst them and aid them in every good deed. Awaken their hearts from every vile earthly thought. Grant them to live and to think to that, that which is portraying to the living. Understand the things which are yours through, the Lord, through your only begotten Son, our Lord, God and Savior, Jesus Christ, unto whom we and all your people, we cry out, saying, Have mercy upon us, our God. All the angels flying to the highest of this hymn. Remember us before the Lord. Let us praise with the angels, saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace on earth, and guru towards men. Yeah. 
God bless you. May he always be the risen Lord in your lives and grant you peace and strength and victory. Tomorrow Sunday school Tomorrow Sunday school is holding a, um, a service with lots of activities for the young and old youth and, um, and kids. It will start at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. in the morning. The, young, the youth starts at 8.30. The youth, 8.30 a.m., breakfast. 8.30 in the morning. Everybody else, 10 a.m. Everyone is also welcome. Um, please, please make an effort to, do, to be there. Next week, next week there's, the church takes, will take a, a bit of a break. So there's no services next week except Tuesday night, I believe. Bunakaras, if he's around. Tuesday night is the uh, Vespers for the Feast of uh, St. George, correct? Tuesday night? Nusama. Tuesday or Wednesday? Tuesday night. Tuesday night? Tuesday night? 7 p.m. Tuesday night, 7 p.m. We're going to have Vespers for the Feast of St. George, his martyrdom. This is on Tuesday. The liturgies will begin again on Sunday. Sunday, the first liturgy, God willing. May, all, may you all live and pray. Please eat slowly. So you do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. There is a liturgy on Monday morning for uh, Shaman Nasim, 6 a.m., 6 to 8 a.m., 6 to 8 a.m. on Monday morning. Eat slowly so you don't get sick. God bless you all. Go in peace. Yeah. Go in peace. The peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Also, there's a link on the page here. We'll try to share it around because we didn't get it on time for uh, the message from His Grace Bishop Daniel. God bless you all.